Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, we're taking a look at the Crypto.com pauses withdraws due to suspicious activity article. Now, I was in the middle of editing my other video of uh, budget mining tips, but this news article came across my desk here, and I figured it's pretty important news, so I figured why not make a video on it, so that way you guys are all informed and can just check things just to make sure if you are using Crypto.com. So Dogecoin founder Billy Marcus noticed a suspicious transaction pattern on the Ether scan that prompted the company to halt all transactions for the time being. Major crypto wallet and platform Crypto.com has temporarily halted withdrawals after a small number of users reporting suspicious activity on their accounts, but all funds are reportedly safe at the moment. And then here's just a tweet from them stating like what I just went over there. It's their statement saying like it's all under investigation but everything is safe. But the one thing I kind of like question is like the coins and everything got hacked like hacked we can say because there is like an address which we'll take a look at later in this video that the founder of dogecoin did find and that address ended up being the address that was taking the ethereum from the accounts now crypto.com i believe they went and like replaced it because they're exchange so they have lots on hand so they obviously helped their users that were having issues and totally like helped them out got them back on track with the money they did lose so that's why i assume they are stating that all funds are safe now keep in mind this article is about 20 hours old so it happened yesterday so just keep that in mind when i'm going through this here a few hours ago crypto.com halted withdrawals from its platform in response to several thieves reported by customers dogecoin founder billy marcus has noticed a suspicious transaction pattern on etherscan that prompted the company to halt all transactions until it figures out what's going on with its platform so we'll take a look at the tweets here from the dogecoin founder and it says i see odd activity on one of the ethereum hot wallets on crypto.com now i went and looked and obviously like it's been it's different now because we're like another day ahead so it's updated i tried to go back but i couldn't really find too much i'll have to look further into that it's a pattern the wallets receiving looking like this multiple of the same transactions to a new wallet between two to five ethereum funds not moved after that and then he goes on to say internal system transfers and funds are safe question mark inside job gone uh, uh, eerie like office space question mark hackers taking funds from an exchange hot wallet question mark never a dull day in the world of crypto and definitely he's not wrong there's always something going on either it be a rug pull a hack or something going on either it be good news or bad news there's always something to report now you may be wondering why is he questioning like an inside job like an inside job gone wrong or whatever because um right now for like crypto.com on like their app you have to have like two fa so two-factor authentication and you can have facial scan recognition and somehow some of the hackers bypass like those two security measures to get into some of the accounts now i don't know if it's possible to hack two fa and like the face scan thing but i know just from like having a computer background it would take a lot of like skill and like knowledge to go ahead and do that so it makes it easier like kind of assuming that it would be an inside job because they have all that information most likely on a database either it be online or offline they still have access to that information them being working on like crypto.com the people who are working at crypto.com that could be one rogue employee so now we'll take a look at the second link there the ether scan this uh for the address here so we'll open it up and as you see um this one was i believe the one that was doing the hacking because on the ether scan this address is reported to be involved in ato stolen funds so right now we can go down we take a look as we see they're making like transaction values this is just recent obviously because it like updates and there's ways to go back pages but i'm not sure how to go ahead and do that but anyways as we see here these are all like the ethereum that it had it had like i believe like 14.3 ethereum so it was like 13 million dollars or something like that i don't know it'll be in the article but as you see it went through tornado cash tornado dot cash i should say which is a way for like these people that do the hacking to like funnel their money and so that way a bunch of people put all their ethereum in and it just shuffles it around and it sends it out in transactions like this just small increments so it's not so noticeable and it's all like just hidden addresses and things like that so it's pretty tricky to like fully trace as you see it's all on the blockchain here like we traced it back 
the Dogecoin founder did, but you can't really identify who owns what wallet because it's the blockchain, you're kind of anonymous. Ben Baller, a cryptocurrency enthusiast and jeweler, claimed that his account had been breached losing 4.28 Ethereum, about $15,000 and I assume that's US currency. He also said that he used two-factor authentication, so the alleged perpetrators must have bypassed some of Crypto.com's security features. Now, I don't know how you can either like trick it to bypass it, or if they like somehow were able to like get the phone number and like replicate it so they could get to 2FA, because I've heard that's a thing as well. But there's also like face scan and other features that you could apply, but to go ahead and bypass that, it's pretty weak vulnerability if you ask me. If you're gonna have like a popular exchange like crypto.com, they're sponsoring arenas and sports and things like this and their uh, app apparently has like a breach or something like that to me like it seems like it was something on like the inside and then just to back up the claims here's the ben baller tweet responding to crypto.com he says i messaged you guys hours ago about my account having 4.28 eth stolen out of nowhere and i'm also wondering how they got past the 2fa but ben baller's in the same boat as me how how can they get past 2fa and all the security measures if it's touted to be top line security and usually not breached and things like that. And like I said, unless it's a weak vulnerability or the information is public somewhere, I don't know, it just seems like it was like a database breach possibly. Cointelegraph, which is the uh, company for this article, reached out to Crypto.com for more details regarding its decision to halt withdrawals, but did not receive a response as of publishing of this time. The article will be updated as new information comes out. According to Perkshield, the perpetrators are likely to be in possession of roughly $15 million worth of stolen funds, and I assume that's US dollar, so it might be more in other countries and other parts, with at least 4.6k Ethereum, so 4,600 Ethereum they're in possession with, which equates to $15 million. The blockchain security and data analytics firm noted that half of the stolen fund money is currently being laundered via Tornado Cash. As I showed you guys from Dogecoin founders, well, he tweeted that out. He was the one that mainly found about this because he was obviously on the Etherscan website checking things out with hot wallets, like with the Crypto.com hot wallet, and he came across it and noted, notified them, and things got like pretty much jumped on and fixed right then and there. So we'll take a look at the tweet here from PeckShield. The crypto.com loss is about 15 million with at least 4.6 ETH and a half of them are currently being washed via tornado cash. So like I said, like for them to say like there was no losses or all the funds are safe, they technically weren't safe if they were stolen. You were just able to replace them fast enough so that way no one noticed. In my opinion, I know obviously everyone's still got the money back. I'm not sitting there ripping on the company. It's just, it should be like kind of worded properly. Funds were stolen, yes. Funds were taken away from people, yes. But they were able to replace them. That's how it kind of should be worded in my opinion. But as we see all the proof is here and they're laundering the money. We can see it on the blockchain. It's unfortunate that like crypto.com and some people's account got like hacked into. But like what I can say is if you're using crypto.com, go into the app and just re-log back in because you might have noticed you got logged out. Log back in, reset your password, reset your 2FA, reset like any security measure that you have set. And hopefully that will fix things. Hopefully they fix things on the back end. I believe they put an update out and we'll go to the tweet afterwards here uh, saying that an update is slowly ro rolling out to fix all this. So here's the tweet I was talking about from crypto.com. Earlier today, a small number of users experienced unauthorized activity in their accounts. All funds are safe in abundance of caution. Security on all accounts is being enhanced, requiring users to sign back into their app and exchange accounts and reset their 2FA. So things I already mentioned, this is kind of going to be like an automated thing that's going to be done for you. You have to go in and reset your 2FA and it's going to sign you out and you have to sign back in automatically. And then they said this update will be rolled out to users progressively over the next few hours. Once complete, withdrawals will be re-enabled. We understand this may be an inconven inconvenience, but security comes first. Thank you for your support, which is under like understandable. Take the time you need because security is a big thing. Hopefully they were able to fix it on the back end. After this, some people said they tried to reset and they still got an error. So I believe this update this might even be followed by another one. It could have been rolled out 
things are most likely back up and running now it's kind of a day later i've used i use crypto.com myself i logged like it logged me out i logged back in i reset my information nothing got stolen from me but i don't really mess with ethereum but if you use crypto.com like i said just reset your account information that's really the best you can do and that's what they're recommending it doesn't seem like it's a huge thing you know there's nothing post online on how to do it this vulnerability you know no one's been able to like go in and find out yet and there's been no follow-up news on like how this hack was even perpetrated in the first place but i'll keep you guys updated with it if another article does come out like i said i was working on my other video but this news article came across and i figured to let you guys know so just be ready for another video coming out soon of uh, mining tips for budget mining and yeah hopefully this brought some you know uh, information to you why you in a way too shouldn't keep your all your crypto on an exchange wallet you should definitely have hardware wallets either like the actual core wallets themselves like offline or you can have like USB set up I can also make a tutorial to show you guys how to make a offline wallet with just a USB you don't need to go buy a, a ledger or things like that you can do it with even just standard USBs I'm not saying don't like keep some on there because if a coin starts pumping you want to sell get it on there fast right so keep some money on the exchanges but don't store every single coin you have of let's say you have a bunch of bitcoin don't put it all on an exchange store it somewhere offline because if a hack like this happens sometimes the exchanges don't get it back or they don't replace it or they just fold obviously crypto.com being the size they are and the money they have they're going to be able to fix this no problem but hopefully it doesn't like continue on as a common thing. But if you do enjoy, you know, my type of news videos here, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. As I also have tutorials and other mining videos, you can check out my channel. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.